Here at KFMB, we are celebrating 75 years in broadcasting. And one thing we've always known is that San Diegans, we love our food. From 1979 until 2001, we brought you a segment called The Unknown Eater. And for more than a decade, The Eater was our photojournalist, Jim Blankenship. It was his job to give us an honest take on local restaurants, but you never saw his face. Well, here's a look at when we talked to Jim back in 2020, unmasked. Back in 1986, there was a new reporter on News 8, a restaurant critic who shared his opinion on Great Eats, but who never showed his face. And I am that former food critic. I'm the unknown eater, but you can call me Jim Blankenship. For 15 years, I had over a thousand local restaurants from cheap to gourmet cuisine, always opinionated and always unknown. The unknown idea came from legendary News 8 News Director Jim Holtzman. He decided that I'd never show my face so that I could dine at any restaurant without a camera crew and without warning, so that I could get the same food and service any other customer would get. Later the story would be shot and edited, but the opinions always came from my unknown visit. Probably my favorite review was at Fio's, Italian in the gas lamp quarter. After eating there, the owners refused to let us film inside their restaurant. So I got the food to go, placed it on a newsstand across the street, and had News 8 anchor Lorraine Kimmel try out the food, and she loved it as much as I did. It's delicious. It's all, it is all great. And I got to experience cuisine from the finest chefs in town, from Deborah Scott at the Indigo Grill to Joe Busalaki and his incredible seafood pasta dish, to the amazing flavor of the food at Thai House Cuisine, all so good, they ended up being the best restaurant of the year. But to be honest with you, my favorite restaurants were not the expensive, gourmet, elaborate meals. I just love a good hole in the wall. It's my hole in the wall. <laughs> it's my spirited hole in the wall. Leah's Filipino food was amazing. <laughs> it's not a hole in the wall. It's really good Filipino food. I love it. All this work? I love it. And CC Chang, owner of the Dragon Walk, made Kung Pao chicken that was the best in the known universe. The food is fabulous. The unknown eater went international with this review of the street food in Bangkok, Thailand. I tried the meal served on a hundred year old boat on the Amazon River. And I sampled the cuisine of the Caribbean served on a sailboat. And finally, I tried halibut fish and chips in Sitka, Alaska. Nice and fluffy all the way through. And crisp. And crisp, you bet. It was a fascinating calorie filled dining extravaganza that lasted 15 years and always ended up with the same sign off. For News 8, I'm the Unknown Eater. Oh, those segments are always so good. To see more of our throwback videos, go to our website and our YouTube page. CBS 8 is the YouTube page, and you can find them all there. All right, Carla's here with a preview of what's coming up tonight. Carla, I do have to tell you. Those were some of my favorite segments as a kid growing up here in San Diego. And some restaurants that were featured still have the sign up to this day in the window of the restaurant. A source of pride to be sure. Yeah. Jim's touch uh, definitely was one felt all across the county. People were proud of that and talked about it to this day. Yeah, not a bad job. Either. Yeah, I'm a little bit jealous right now, to Me be honest, too. and a little bit hungry, but that's for later.